Well, the Virginia case is probably the best, well-documented case that we have in Brazil and probably in the world. Yeah, you know that over 80 witnesses came forward, first-hand witnesses came forward during the first weeks, and they are still coming after it happened. During all these years, we still keep getting witnesses that come forward and tell us pieces of the big story that we know that in comprises the capture of at least two alien creatures in the city of Virginia. We know for a fact, because we have it all documented, plus the witnesses have confirmed and cross-confirmed that one alien was captured in the morning of that day, which was a Saturday, about 10.30, by a fire department and uh, some personnel from the Army. Another creature was seen at the same day by the middle afternoon by three girls. It was them who called the attention of all the city to the fact that strange creatures have been seen because when the first one was seen and captured in the morning, it didn't draw too much attention. But at the afternoon, when the girls saw another creature and then spread the word to everybody, we saw the devil, that's what they thought they saw. That night of the Saturday, January 20, 1996, that second preacher, probably the same one saw by the girls, was also captured by a police troop, a police car, actually a military police car, with two policemen inside. The one who was sitting in a passenger seat was Marco Elixerezzi, and he was lucky enough to be the one who spotted the creature and grabbed it with his own bare arms, bare hands, got back to the car, put the creature in his lap, and took it to the hospital. 25 days after that, he died on February 15 of some bacteria attacks, proving that his immune, immune deficiency, deficiency system was absolutely destroyed. And uh, army personnel and authorities kept it all secret for lots of time until the UFO researchers started protesting along with the press, and we did so much pressure that eventually information was released about it. One o'clock in the morning, when my wife noticed a bright light shining outside, I rushed out, wondering what it could be. I was amazed when I saw this huge flying object. When I first saw it, I remember thinking, it looked like a submarine. It hovered for about 40 minutes, and when it started to move, it headed towards the town of Virginia. Local entrepreneur Vittorio Pacacini became convinced that an alien had visited his town and set out to prove it. The story starts in this quiet neighborhood. Three young girls were returning home from school. They suddenly saw a strange creature against the wall. The creature was this way. So they were just passing here, they saw that thing. And then when they screamed, the creature did like this and looked at them. They thought it was the devil because they had any, they didn't have any reference. So they ran away and got home and told their mother, we saw the devil. I've never seen anything so scary. I was completely shocked. Valkyria started running immediately, but I seemed to be paralyzed for a moment. Finally, I started running up the street towards our house. What first amazed me were its eyes, its veins that stuck out, and its feet with three toes. It had bright red eyes, and its skin looked like green leather. It was shocking. Neighbors alerted the fire department.
chase ensued. It was witnessed by a local street vendor. First, you saw three guys from the fire department coming from this high grass over there. Right after that, he went to the next corner, and from there, he saw four guys of the fire department carrying two in one side and two in the other side. This way, and, and walking this way, so they gave this weird creature that was wrapped in a net, and they were wearing uh, gloves. And right after that, they put this weird creature, this brown, he saw the food, it was big food, really dark brown. Uh, put in a truck, and right after that, the fireman truck went down this, this street. It was something not of this world. The creature was in a net, and the fireman was struggling with it. It smelled really bad, and my eyes started watering when I got close. The fireman was cursing all the time. Another witness saw suspicious military activity in a forest nearby. He saw seven soldiers from the army school of Tres Corazones, Three Hearts, walking in line, going into the forest with war rifles. Um, some seconds later, he heard three shots. Right after that, the soldiers came out of the forest holding canvas bags in, with something inside. In one of the canvas bags, uh, something was, was moving inside. The other one, nothing was moving. So, we, we think that the, the, the army didn't send a troop here to hunt rabbits or skunks, so something was going on inside the forest. In the forest, soldiers were allegedly chasing another alien creature. Involved in the operation was Sergeant Marcus Cerezo, who died shortly afterwards. The military deny he was on duty that day, but his own sister disagrees. I swear that my brother was on duty that night, even though the military denies this. I remember drying his clothes before he went on duty, and I know he was involved in what happened. At the local zoo, the animals became restless. They seemed to sense a strange presence. A woman was sitting alone on a veranda overlooking the zoo. It was about nine o'clock in the evening. Well, she smokes a lot, so she decided to come to the porch to have a cigarette because she didn't want to bother people with smoke. So she took, she took a chair, sat down right here. All of a sudden, right behind that metallic green fence, this weird creature just appeared and started looking at her, really staring at her. It was about seven minutes. She couldn't move. She stood still. It was really ugly. With big, bright red eyes. And its mouth was just a slit on its chin. I thought I was looking into the eyes of the devil. Then, one by one, animals at the zoo started to die. No one knew why. When the alleged E.T. appeared in Virginia, we had a strange experience in the zoo. Four animals died suddenly. They died in circumstances that we can't explain. A tapir, two deers and a tiger. To this day, neither I nor the labs can explain what happened. They were in perfectly good health, but they just died suddenly. Eyewitnesses say the fireman took the creature to the local hospital under cover of night. But there the trail dries up. Rumors spread rapidly that the creature had been snatched from the hospital by the military. But everyone refuses to talk. We know 
from two nurses and one doctor that this creature was brought here late at night and from here they took it to Humanitas Hospital. So we asked the nurses to go with us to the press and they said no way because they're too scared. They were told not to say anything otherwise they could lose their jobs. The firemen and local military refuse to answer any questions. There have been allegations of threats and cover-ups. A group of men came to the house and said they had an offer I couldn't refuse. They told me that if I told my two daughters and their friend to go to the press and say they'd made it all up, then they'd relocate us and give us lots of money. They wanted us to say nothing had happened. Our next step is to get this military in front of the cameras to say how it happened. And believe me, I'm going to prove to the world that what happened in Virginia was not a uh, uh, hallucination. I'm going to prove that something that does not belong to this planet came here to visit us and it was captured by the militaries. An alien creature eluding capture, a secret military experiment, or an elaborate hoax. The Virginia story could just become the conspiracy theory of the 90s. And conspiracy theories never die. It's two alien creatures in the city of Virginia. We know for a fact because we have it all documented, plus the witnesses have confirmed and cross-confirmed that one alien was captured in the morning of that day, which was a Saturday, about 10.30. Well, the Virginia case is probably the best well-documented case that we have in Brazil and probably in the world. Yeah, you know that over 80 witnesses came forward, first-hand witnesses came forward during the first weeks and they are still coming after it happened. During all these years we still keep getting witnesses that come forward and tell us pieces of the big story that we know that in comprises the capture of athletes by a fire department and uh, some personnel from the army. Another creature was seen at the same day by the middle afternoon by three girls. It was them who called the attention of all the city to the fact that strange creatures have been seen because when the first one was seen and captured in the morning it didn't draw too much attention. But at the afternoon, when the girls saw another creature and then spread the word to everybody, we saw the devil, that's what they thought they saw. That night of the Saturday,